I've got several alarm clock reviews on the channel already, but I think I finally found the one. Um, this is a Sharp model also. I did a previous review on a different Sharp uh, alarm clock, but it uh, the, it was way too bright, and um, it's I, I still use it, uh, but I face it away from me, and it just doesn't really serve its purpose in terms of being able to see the time. Obviously, the clock does work, but the difference also, this one has a dual alarm. Uh, there are a couple of little features that uh, work well in terms of how it wakes you up, the snooze time. I'll go over all that and I'll show you the demo of the uh, alarm itself and setting it. But um, in short, this fits all the bills. It has uh, the dual alarm clock. It's got the ascending, you know, it's not an obnoxious alarm at first at least. And uh, it's got, it runs on a cord, you know, uh, electric power or outlet. And, but it does have a battery backup. So you're not worrying about changing out batteries all the time. And of course, the um, you know it's a small, it's got a very small footprint. It's not going to take up a lot of room on your uh, on your uh, nightstand. And for me, the silver color is what attracted me. It's perfect. I'll, I'll show you that. It matches my furniture perfectly. So uh, with that. You know, let me uh, just really, this is how it looks. This is just a sticker in terms of brightness, but here you can see it's not very bright at all. And then as far as the alarms, you know, once you set the alarm and it goes off, I wish that you were able to just press this alarm like some uh, alarm class allow you to do. But in this case, you have to either turn the alarm off and then I usually put it back on again, just to let you know, uh, just so you don't have to worry about setting it the night before, but that will ultimately turn it off or you can change this setting uh, back and then Forward. Now, uh, why is a dual alarm perfect uh, or ideal for most people these days? Well, number one, if you uh, obviously wake up at a different time during the weekends uh, as opposed to the weekday, that's one thing. Number two, if you share an alarm with a significant other sleeping in the same room or same bed, that's another. And the third is um, in this environment where a lot of people are doing hybrid work uh, uh, environments, uh, some people work from home some days, some people go to the office. You obviously wake up at different times if you're commuting versus staying at home. That's where a dual alarm clock is perfect. You don't have to keep resetting the time every night. So uh, let me just show you quickly how to uh, how this alarm works because it's, you know, some alarms are really obnoxious and I think that's a big deal for most people. This starts off very, um, I'd say, you know, gentle or unobnoxious I guess is the word uh, and then and then it does its job it will get you out of bed eventually as you'll see so um, with that let me um, set the alarm show you that I'll set it for time one um, by pressing the alarm and then using the hour and minute so we're already in the 5 or something mode I think so when you depress that alarm button, it stays on there for a second. This is the normal time now, it's 5.07. So let's go back and we'll make this, um, now we went too far. That's how it starts off. And then it gets a little bit more obnoxious. And then it changes its tone again. You get the three beeps. And if that didn't work, that's going to get you out. <laughs> now again, like I said, you could either flick this off or flick this off. So in this case, I just flick that off and then I turn it back on again for tomorrow, the next day. The advantage of using the on-off alarm to, to shut it off um, is that you don't risk, if you're using a dual alarm, you don't risk that when you go to shut off and you're kind of half sleeping that you put this into the wrong position. You just leave it on dual. Uh, when the first alarm goes off, put it in the off, then quickly put it back on. The alarm will be off, but that second one will be still set uh, to go off. So that's ideal. Anyway, um, I do wish they, again, they, they had the ability to just press the one alarm, but easy enough. Uh, the other drawback, and this is the only thing, is that um, even though this is sold other places, I've only seen it um, at a reasonable price, which is $11, literally. And that's one of the huge attractions because I've seen... Alarm clocks range from $10 for cheap uh, battery operated all the way up to $60 and maybe even more depending on if they project and USB ports and stuff like that, stuff that I didn't need. But anyway, um, Walmart is one of the only places that sells it at a reasonable price. So I will leave a link in the, uh, the description below for that. 
and that's it. And snooze button, nice and big. You won't have trouble hitting that. As far as, uh, as in terms of footprint, it's really small. It's ideal in terms of uh, not taking up a lot of space on your nightstand. I mean, it's less than my hand. The display is 0.7 inches. And really, that's all there is to it. It takes um, uh, uh, two tr uh, two AA batteries as battery backup. Now, it's important to remember if the battery, if the electricity goes out, it will keep the time. However, um, and so that when the electricity in your house turns back on, it will be the time will be set already, and the alarms will remain uh, as they were. But um, it does not display the time or what, while it's riding uh, while it's running on battery. So in other words, there will be no display here but it is keeping the time in the background, so to speak. Um, as far as the uh, dual alarm, you can either have one alarm on, uh, the second alarm on, or both on. If you have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me.